Hi everyone, <clears throat> our journal page today and this is something that I do when I get stuck, it's just my way of getting unstuck. It was inspired by a video that I've uh, watched a long time ago, it was a collaboration between Barb Owen and Shannon Green and that's uh, just my interpretation, how I do it, how I get unstuck. So uh, I'm just picking three colors that I like and white and black and this time I've picked navy blue, uh, red bird, turquoise and as I said black and white. These are uh, deco art acrylics and I'm, I've taken a stencil. I'm usually for this uh, thing I will take a stencil that have some more than one pattern and the reason for it is again you don't want to get stuck doing uh, something and trying to go all over your stencils and what you have you want something on hand now I know that I like uh, to uh, incorporate text in my in things like that so I will always have either a book page or a stamp with text on it and any kind of things that can make marks or stamps but again limit yourself to like three so you won't get uh, too much uh, distracted with all the options <laughs> but again there are if options is what uh, get you going then just pick as much as you want so I'm putting uh, down some of the paint here and it's uh, completely and utterly not uh, planned just having fun and getting on with it without uh, overthinking I'm just wetting my brush a little bit and uh, my page is uh, gessoed I'm working in a sketchbook so it's better to prepare the page with a gesso it's a good primer and it lets me uh, play with the paints without them soaking into the page uh, on uh, on contact so I'm just putting down paint I'm letting some of it overlap and mix again there is no rhyme or reason I don't care I don't care even that I have a splatter here maybe I can do more <laughs> now he doesn't want to it really doesn't matter just put some paint and I'm cleaning a, a little bit my brush just so I can move on to a, another for this uh, paint this color so you see I'm overlapping and getting more interest because now I have more uh, shades and I can also go back and add if I think I need it just playing around I've put a uh, masking tape here just to protect the spiral otherwise it gets all uh, <clears throat> with acrylic paint and then it dries and then you can't move the pages so I'm cleaning my brush again and I think I just want just a little bit more of the turquoise and I'll be done with the first layer for this page I think <laughs> yeah 
Ok. Manage to do some splattering. Why not? A little bit more water. Yeah. A whole lot of mess. So, this needs to be completely dry before we continue. I'll be back. I'm back. So, I've got this messy background and now I want to stencil on it and make marks, add details. And I'm going to start with the white here. I'm going to put some here and take the stencil. Let's see. I think I want this one and I'm going to take some uh, makeup sponge and again this is going to be completely play and put randomly on the page the more important thing uh, in this kind of practice <laughs> best uh, <laughs> word I can think of right now is that your elements are repeating and a pattern emerges from on your a uh, page now what I've done before you don't have to do it this way you don't have to uh, go with straight lines you can smear with your finger you can do circles you can do whatever you want this is just letting go and doing whatever comes to mind and at the end of the day it's just paper and if you don't like it you can always cover it or <laughs> you can cut it and do all kinds of other things with it So just repeating this specific element on my page and let's do another one here and I think I like this a uh, spiral so maybe yeah, let's put one here. And one here. No overthinking. Just doing. Just by repeating some elements, your uh, page will be start to become more cohesive and interesting. So it's all about repeating and layering and adding. <laughs> so this is it. Let's see. I think I want the text now. I've got this uh, book page. And I'm thinking uh, I want... Let's cut some strip stripes whatever okay let's start with this and we'll see where it's going and I don't want them all at the same length, so let's see. Just again, quite random. Not too much a uh, care about uh, being even straight. So again, it's an element that it's going uh, that's going to be repeated on the page. So. So I'm taking a glue stick, let's move this here, 
so I can see what I'm doing and you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> Putting some glue and then again just putting it down randomly don't be afraid to make a mess I don't care that it looks like a mess right now I'm creating something I would I don't like what I created at the end <laughs> I'll leave it be I'll cover it with gesso I'll trim the excess here later right now I just want to put elements on my page and it, then again it doesn't have to be in straight lines you can go diagonal you can do whatever you want to go with your page I think the most important thing is that you keep repeating your elements and then by that you create some kind of pattern yeah so let's see I think I want now to add some black to the mix so I'm putting some black here and let's see if this works I will put lightly black here and let's see yeah nice enough you can also overlap your other elements and a little bit here yeah okay and let's see what else do I want I've got this star stamp and yeah why not I think I'll make some clusters of this star instead of just stamping it yeah Maybe in some places I'll just stamp one. Okay, yeah, I like it. And I don't know, I want something more here. Maybe. Well, I think I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to take a step back and decide what I want to do next. I'll be back. Okay. 
Okay, so this is dry. Took a step back, decided that I don't quite like this text uh, that I have here. I have here from the book page, so I decided just to go over them with some squiggly line. Really doesn't matter to disguise. this so as you can see quick and easy like it better already and another one here yeah so I had this, this is a, a closing tag on my desk and I figured let's use it. That's the great thing about this kind of pages, whatever is loose on your desk, <laughs> just use it. And I have these two bits of leftover pieces from some fabric and I'm going to put them in this uh, hole and let's just do some knot here don't really matter i'm playing around and adding things to my page and i wanted this to be in my page Okay, so I've got this, and I think, let's see, never here, and I've printed a, with my a very simple printer I have at home, a stop creating, it's not the same color, but I tried to mimic a, however I could this and the ink is not great in my printer but nonetheless it's good enough for me now i just want to play with it never stop creating i don't know maybe something like this Yeah, I think I'll just uh, put it like this. Now I want to glue this down. Really doesn't matter. This is just like a warm up. This is keeping yourself creative and doing even simple stuff with, by just smearing paint not overthinking it and having fun that's the most important thing I think having fun okay this one here and put it here so this is it very simple page I had so much fun making it I've used also this tag that was lying on my desk with this a uh, bit of, fab of fabric and I like it I like the colors I have here and it gets my juices going so I hope you liked it I hope you'll do something like this and have a uh, fun so thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below i'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now